Thanks to the earthen buildings, the Hakka people have been able to live from one generation to the next in a safe environment. One building could often accommodate several dozen branches of a family. The Chengqi building, known as the king of the earthen buildings, was once home to 800 people. Those who live under the same roof belong to the same extended family, and they get on well with one another too. It's a way of life that reflects the affinity that exists among the Hakka people. The earthen buildings are built of yellow clay or unbaked raw clay. It's a natural building material that's been widely used since the earliest days of human civilization. The raw clay used by the Hakka to build their walls is also called tabia. It's made of gravel sand, lime, and red loam. Tabia becomes stickier when it's mixed with brown sugar, egg white, and glutinous rice. A small quantity of any of these ingredients significantly improves the durability of tabia. After the glutinous rice concoction has been mixed with the tabia, bamboo strips are added, which will enhance the flexibility and strength of the walls. The bamboo strips are to earthen walls what steel reinforcements are to modern concrete walls. After the wet earth has dried, the walls can be even harder than concrete walls. A story is told about the Kuomintang army which attacked a Red Army base in the Yuxing building in 1931. <laughs> 他以为土墙可以可以更容易攻进去，没想到那个土墙暴攻的上天还是攻不下来，留下一个顶层的一个伤疤。For three days the building endured a bombardment, but the shells left only a slight scar, the size of basins on the earthen walls. The base foundation of the earthen building is 3 meters wide. At their lower part, the walls are 1.5 meters thick. The thickness of the walls gradually diminishes the higher they go. Even so, on the top floor, the walls are still no less than 0.9 meters thick. Yangding County is located in a hilly region of Fujian Province, in a subtropical zone where the rainfall is abundant. However, the thick walls help adjust humidity levels. If it's too dry inside, the walls naturally release moisture. If it's too humid, the walls absorb moisture. We use water to pour it. This water goes on the ground. The ground will have the water to absorb the water. It will have the water to absorb the water. It will have the water to absorb the water. It will have the water to absorb the water. The earthen walls, by ensuring appropriate humidity levels, create a healthy indoor environment. These walls also have a unique fragrance that help people inside to relax. Clay, bamboo, eggs and brown sugar. It's hard to conceive of such solid and comfortable dwellings being built out of such fairy tale materials. Look 
Probably the most visually appealing earthen buildings are the round ones. Starting from the center, they extend outwards in magnificent circles, resembling ripples on water. Our most primitive human ancestors built cave-like round dwellings. The ancient architecture of Mesopotamia also tended to be round in shape. The architecture of ancient Rome, as represented by the Colosseum and the Pantheon, was also round in shape. A round shape is said to stand for solidarity and tolerance. Psychological theory teaches that a round or oval conference table can, compared with a rectangular one, smooth negotiations and create a favorable and harmonious environment in which agreement and cooperation can be achieved. In ancient China, Heaven and Earth were represented respectively by a circle and a square. People worshipped Heaven as they deemed the circular shape to possess omnipotent power. Circular residences, like the Hacker Earthen Buildings, are quite rare. Compared with square buildings, the round earthen buildings have many practical advantages. The Hacker people call the concave part between the two small hills the nest. Plants thrive in these low-lying nests, which are abundant in water and humus. The walls of the round buildings, by facilitating the flow of miasma, forms an upward swirling airflow, releasing bad air and drawing in fresh air. With none of the dead corners of square buildings, round buildings achieve the best effect in light penetration. The interior of a round building also affords a good view of the outside. A round structure, by evenly transferring various loads, reduces the resistance force of the wind and enhances its ability to withstand earthquakes. In a magnitude 7 earthquake in 1918, the walls on the third and fourth floors of the Huanji building, known as the quake-proof castle, cracked. However, because of the centripetal force of the building and the pulling force of its frame, the fissure which was over three meters long and several centimeters wide, miraculously closed up, leaving only a thin crack. As a result, the building remained standing intact. Equitable distribution is a highly important concept among Hakka people living with their families. Every room in a round building is a single point on the circle, which enhances the sense of equality and harmony within the family. Flooding and fire spare no one and nothing, yet the residents of the earthen buildings have managed to prevent fire and flooding for centuries.